Well, we have a special situation here in Denmark. We have approximately 2,500 waterworks and everywhere the water is very good, it's very tasteful. So we thought, why not make a competition out of it and somehow find out where is the most tasteful water in Denmark. And by that we could set focus uh, on, on this very special situation. Who can, who can provide the best? I don't know in this year because let's see when, when the referees has taken the decision. Uh, I hope of course it's the waterwork of my whole time. We have a special situation because all our tap water is based on groundwater. And I think we see that as a very precious source for making drinking water and that means we are taking very much care of it. So we are protecting all our groundwater all, all over the country and we also, since it is so precious to us, we also we, we secure that the water loss from the pipes and so are very low. So we see it as a natural resource which we have to protect and only use what is really needed. And I think that's not the situation in the most countries in Europe and in, in the Far East and so on. In Denmark we're very proud of our tap water. We're able to drink basically from the ground uh, our pure water. We're very proud of that and it's quite unique in the world that uh, we have this situation. And of course we need to protect that. I work for that every day uh, as a minister and I'm very proud today to be here to be able to uh, praise those that uh, do the job every day to make sure Danish people can drink pure water from the ground. I believe we have a very good combination of a strong regulation, so political focus on a long-term strong political regulation. We want to make sure we have pure water also in the future. And then we have some very innovative uh, water companies uh, that both public and private work together uh, to make sure we use the state-of-the-art technology, which is also why we're able now to export uh, water technology to the rest of the world.